Alexis Arguello challenges Ruben Oliveres for the WBA featherweight crown. Inglewood, 23rd of November, 1974. Jeff Timken along with Louis Moreno here at ringside the Fabulous Forum. The fight everybody's been waiting for. 15 rounds for the WBA featherweight championship of the world between the champion Ruben Oliveres and the challenger Alexis Arguello from Nicaragua. I think the first thing everyone notices right off the bat, Louis, is the height discrepancy. Aguayo is just a wee bit taller, I would say, by nine. Very, very tall for a featherweight. And can he punch? 41 wins, three losses, which include 36 knockouts. Of course, Ruben Oliveras' record speaks for itself, as he is the champion, 76 wins out of 80 pro fights, and he has stopped 69 opponents. Ruben Oliveras, the shorter of the two fighters, wearing blue trunks, and Alexis Arguello from Nicaragua, wearing the white trunks with the blue schedule. And Oliveras catches Arguello off balance. Oliveras has been through the wars. He knows what it's all about. This is the big, big step for Alexis Arguello. Oliveras, ring-wise veteran at 26, knows every trick in the book, but rarely needs them. As he, as most ring scribes consider one of the greatest bantamweight champions to ever live, and he's making his mark as a featherweight champion. on Oliveras. Both fighters in excellent shape and are well prepared to go the 15 round limit if necessary. But neither fighter expects it as both have predicted knockouts. Almost the end of round one. Round two, scheduled 15 rounders for the WBA featherweight title with the champion Oliveras defending his crown against Alexis Arguello from Nicaragua. Oliveras, the former Bantamweight chieftain, acquired his title last July 9th right here at the Forum when he stopped Japan's Senzuki Uragawa in seven rounds. This was an elimination for the championship, left vacant by Panama's Ernesto Marcel. But right now, Ruben Oliveras, the champion, defending his crown against the much taller Alexis Arguello. Slapping left hook thrown by Arguello, landing on the arm of Oliveras. That's been about it up until now. Both fighters very cautious, and reasonably so. There's a lot on the line tonight.
Alexis Arguello, many of his Nicaraguan countrymen up here to see their 22-year-old hopeful possibly wrestle a crown away from Ruben Olivares. Olivares weighed in at 125 and a half tonight, or should I say this morning. And the challenger, Alexis Arguello, weighed in at 124 and a quarter. Thirty seconds left in round number two. Ten seconds left. All fighters, even exchanges. Number three for the title, the featherweight title, World Boxing Association version. And the WBC featherweight title holder was here tonight. Wish both fighters well. Schoolboy Bobby Chacon. Needless to say, Arguello holds the height and the reach advantage over his smaller opponent, champion Ruben Olivares. just sticking to his jab, moving, bobbing, weaving, waiting for the opening. Oliveris has been in with the best. He knows what it's all about, and he won't be fooled. Doesn't make many mistakes. Has been down, but gets up and usually stops the opponent. A right hand thrown by Oliveris. Lands on the jaw of Alexis. It's all of us. Pinning a whale against the ropes. But now Alexis comes back. Round three coming to a close. <laughs> Round number four, scheduled 15 rounder for the world featherweight title. One interesting note about each fighter. They have one common opponent amongst them. They both fought Art Hafey. Young man from San Diego, I introduced in the ring earlier. And 
Alexis Arguello stopped Papey in five rounds and three knockdowns. The same Art Papey that knocked out Ruben Olivares last year. However, Olivares came back and beat him in a decision in the rematch. That's any measure of a man's success, then this should be interesting. Arguello has had some exciting moments himself. I should say more on the negative side as he was right in the middle of that tremendous earthquake in Managua on December 23rd, 1972. And he saved himself and his family from great harm. But right now, the only thing these two fighters are concentrating on are each other and what they can do One minute left in round number four. Seconds left in round number Round number five, scheduled 15 rounder. Jeff Temkin along with the very famous Louis Moreno here at ringside at the Forum. Bringing you live action between the champion, the featherweight champion, Ruben Olivares, and the highly touted challenger from Nicaragua, Alexis Arguello. Louis, there's been a pretty even fight up until now. How do you have it scored? Well, uh, I have Olivares a uh, little bit in favor now, but uh, it's really nothing to say. I think it's an, an even fight until now. Yeah, I think so too, but there's a long way to go. And both fighters have been known to be extremely explosive. Still throwing those long right hands. Olivares, the champion from Mexico City. Fine ring record of 76 wins, just four losses and one draw. And he has stopped 69 opponents. 
Arguello, 41 wins, three losses with 36 kills. And it's Arguello on the march. Arguello throwing the long overhand lefts and rights. A right hand by Arguello that did find its mark. But Oliveras fighting back. This has been Arguello's round up until now. Less than 10 seconds left. Six. Arguello's handlers told their tall challenger to come out. They think they have found a way of beating Oliveras. And Arguello comes out firing. and slipping most of those punches fans the crowd is really reacting but most of those punches are on the gloves of Oliveras however the ones there are quite a few of them are finding home big crowd here at the fabulous forum in Inglewood California Number six. Dick Young steps in to break up the two fighters. It's the end of round number six. Round number seven. And in between rounds, Ruben Oliveras' corner were working on his left eye. And it's bothering Oliveras. 
Paul Averis's left eye, uh, slight abrasion right above the eyebrow. And that could mean real trouble as it's only round seven. And you can bet Alexis Arguello will go to work. As of right now, it has not opened, and it is not bleeding, but it is swollen. This is it, 15 rounds for the WBA Featherweight Championship of the World. And all of this comes back combinations of his own working to the body mixing his punches well and scoring to the head and now <laughs> both fighters exchanging That left eye of Oliveris is really red now, but has yet to start bleeding. One minute left in round seven. Number eight, we're halfway home. Scheduled 15 and runners, and it's, they're picking up right where they left off as Arguello lands a quick right hand, right on the eye that has been giving Oliveira some trouble in the last couple rounds. Oliveira's corner working on that eye. A slight cut, a slight cut. And now both fighters toe to toe again. I don't know how long they can keep that action up without somebody going down. All of this blood streaming down his eye now. All of this cut has opened up and it is bleeding. The blood streaming down the side of Oliveris' left eye. But he has been the aggressor and he's laying the leather to Alexis Arguello. Oliveris' left eye is bleeding, but it's Oliveris who's throwing most of the leather now. Mixing his punches up, scoring to the body, scoring to the head, 
has Arguello against the ropes. Now it's Arguello coming back. Look, all the way is scoring to the body with those sharp left hooks. Dick Young warning, warning Oliveris, don't hit and hold. Now, no, it almost over. in this fight. This corner did a good job of closing up Rubens cut above his left eyebrow. It has not reopened. This has really been a fast paced all action fight. And it figured to be, there's a lot on the line, the world title. Not many people get a shot at it, as Arguello, I'm sure, realizes. One minute left, round number nine. having a lot of respect for each other. As round nine slowly comes to a close. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Number 10. Oliveris wipes the sweat away from his eye. And his handlers in his corner have done such a great job closing. Oh. 
Oh, Lavares landing a right hand right on the jaw of Arguello. Chance for Oliveras. A left right by Oliveras. A left right combination. Round by Oliveras. Rattled Arguello. in round 10. Oliveras has landed tremendous punches this round. But Arguello has not gone down. Oliveras pushing his taller opponent into the corner, hammering away at the body. Ripping away. Twenty seconds left. All of us. into the home stretch now. Oliveras has been the aggressor the last several rounds. <laughs> Louis, how do you how do you think the fight's going right now? Well, I think that everybody is uh, it's in favor now. The last two rounds, he just uh, beat completely Arguello. It seems that those body shots that Oliveras has been landing are finally taking its toll and tiring out the taller Arguello. Well, you can see that he's working more relaxed now. He's uh, doing whatever he wants to do. That's the Olivares that we've been seeing here many times, huh? Right. A true great champion. We've got a minute and a half left in round 11. And Oliveras starting in with those body flurries again. A man can just take so much. Oliveras is really dishing it out. But Arguello has not been in danger of going down. He has been holding his own and been countering with jabs and overhand rights himself. One minute left.
30 seconds left. Both fighters slowing it down a little bit this last minute. Number 12, scheduled 15 rounder. A solid left hook thrown by Oliveris. Ruben Oliveris on the move. Trying to find that combination that'll put Arguello away. And Arguello, of course, realizing that the fight is close. Is looking for his own remedy to put Oliveris away. and right. <laughs> Our overhand right thrown by Oliveris, but he has not been able to put Arguello down. One minute left in round 12. <laughs> right hand by Oliveris. But Arguello taking all, every punch Oliveris is dishing out. No power at all in this uh, Arguello punch. <laughs> Arguello is really tired. No power at all in the punches. Not much on his punches. Oliveris has Arguello in the corner. Ten seconds. Round 13. Oh, Barrow 
just ran into a saddle left from the bottom. But he's coming back. There's a long way to go, only one minute. Dick Young. Seven, eight, nine, it's over. gentlemen the time one minute 20 seconds into round number 13 scoring the win by knockout and no featherweight champion of the world alexis 